Hello. Hi. I'm Saxon. I'm Emma. And we thought we should reintroduce ourselves because it's been so long you may have forgotten. Um, it's been a while. It's been a little bit over six months actually since we last posted a video. And we wanted to do an update first to say we're fine. Nothing dramatic has happened, the boat has not sunk, nobody has ended up in hospital. We've basically just been really, really... We've been... Really busy. Yeah, we've been busy and we've been kind of a bit down. Yeah. It's been rough, basically, for the last six months. We never planned for this to take quite as long as it has yeah. and... We, I mean, we figured it was going to be two years but we kept setting targets it's like we were hoping to be in for the summer um, because we could kind of camp out and do without a lot of things yeah if we got on in the summer and then um, that didn't that, happen that didn't happen and then it was like maybe we could manage the winter maybe, maybe but we could get in for Christmas yeah and and, um, and essentially we, we didn't get the stove in before it got too cold to work on the boat yes it hit about late September early October that it just wasn't going to happen and just as the, as the weather was getting kind of greyer and the nights were the nights were getting longer and my general habit of getting seasonal affective disorder at that time of year kind of really kicked into gear and yeah it's the last six months have been rough also because there were a, there was a lot of work but not a lot of visible progress for a long time as well which yeah, is it's, which we doesn't make you feel good you know. fiddly jobs like wiring jobs um, and plumbing and things and, and plumbing um, and porthole liners <laughs> which yeah the, the, we it took got a long time to sand yes we got lovely porthole liners they were very very nice they were slightly too small to fit on the uh, only by like a millimeter it was nobody's fault but it, they took a lot of sanding to make fit. They days and days of sanding, <laughs> but uh, we got there in the end. But yeah, it was um, it was rough, and we didn't really feel like we wanted to make videos at that stage. We kind of did, we, we were just concentrating on 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 like getting getting it done, the, getting it done. Plumbing the radiators has kind of been a bit. Torturous. Yes. Um, it, yes. It's sort of like um, you've got to be like really exact when you're cutting the copper pipe, um, and we had to keep taking in and uh, like taking out and putting back in the radiators. Yes, to... especially the, the the one radiator that was <laughs> that was difficult to actually um, take out of its little metal feet that were, that were basically installed to support it. The other two came out smooth no problem at all that one was was a swine and that was, every time that would be the middle one that needed the most moving yes <laughs> uh yeah so many so many times it was like sort of uh, it's in now yeah. we don't have to move it yeah it's fine next it's, day we have to move it but um it's been a bit because we've had to sort of like all the length of lengths of pipe have had to be like exact um and we've had to sort of like create the sort of the, the box to go in um, to go over them at the bottom um, and then put the wall on top of it but then the radiator needs to go on top of the wall but we need the box in to stand the radiator on <laughs> yes <laughs> we, we just ended up in this this really difficult circle of like um, um, A needed to be done before B yeah. uh, B needed to be done before C but C <laughs> needed to be done before A and uh, Yes, there were many times when M would attempt to uh, explain to me what needed to happen before certain things and what certain things depended on and it would make my head spin because I would just be like, wait a minute, that doesn't actually sound like we can do anything because it just, it just, it was just like being trapped in an eternal sort of chicken and egg situation, what came first and, and I, uh, yes, there was much bewilderment at various points in the last six months. But the important thing is, we have made progress, especially in the last six months, we've actually been able to make progress that you can see, uh, yeah. which is lovely, which makes, well, you, it, makes, like, makes you feel so much better when you can actually the see last, it. The last few weeks, really, yeah. it's, we've started getting some wall up. Yes, um, there is actual wall, proper wall, not just sort of the blue half wall, a little of which was up in the last video. And we've got, uh, we've fitted two bulkheads, and there are, there are two others that are... The bulkheads are sort of shaped like they've got a curve at the top, then an angle down here, 
and then they they sort of they have to go in under the gunnel and then out, and then a bit out the pipes at the bottom and they're all a slightly different size yes <laughs> That's a very, very, very detailed work. Basically, uh, they sort of they took a day each. Uh, yeah, it's sort of like the the radiator joints. They also it was like one or two joints we'd manage in an afternoon. Yeah, it was because of all the measuring and getting a, everything right and a lot of long pulling work. Pulling radiator, putting yeah, putting them in, pulling yeah. In. But but yeah. we've uh, you know we've also we fitted navigation lights, we fitted a horn. We've assembled uh, a number of kitchen units. We've basically kind of got like half the kitchen in its basic form actually there on the boat. That's currently be it's currently storing lots of uh, lots of sort of paint and, and various other DIY materials because frankly we've got to put them somewhere. But um, but and, yeah, and we for- I've this is my fault. <sighs> I forgot to when we put the navigation lights in because we had to get those in before we could put the walls up. Yes, um, so that we could bolt through. Yes. Um, we forgot about the cabin steps. The little steps that fold out to help you to climb onto the roof. Yes, very useful. Um, quite important on a boat that doesn't have an open bow. So that Which ours doesn't. If we have to step on at the front at any point, then we can climb onto the roof and, and walk back along the roof instead of trying to walk along the gunnels. But yeah, completely forgot about them when we were putting in navigation lights to turn the boat round put up wall um, and then we've got to take a bit of wall down again so that we can bolt them in. But it's only a very small piece of wall. Well, two small pieces it, of wall. Yes, that, it's, sort of, it's sort of like that. It's two, two screws, isn't it? Yes, Basically, yeah. two screws. Yeah, so that's not going to be too much hassle. Apart it, from turning the boat around again. Let, let, uh, <laughs> anyway, that's where we are at the moment and currently we're sort of on a little bit of a hiatus because I've got some work um, happening and also the weather has turned nasty enough to make sure that it's not really practical going to the boat because it's just a bit too damn cold but our plan is that once we hit the beginning of March my work will be done so I'll be I'll be sort of come back to help and we're kind of going to go we're going to go full time and just going to try and do two months two months of Solid, solid, full, full days. If we've got the stamina, yeah, and hopefully, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get the lining out done, and we will, we will make a lot of progress in those two months. I don't know how much. We will see how much by well, the end of that. But um, we've done a lot of the big jobs. Yes. Now. Yeah. We uh, have to put the stove. In. We have to build the hearth and tile it. Um, we've put the concrete in already. Yeah. Need to put the stove in, put a big hole in the roof for it. Yeah. There's a bunch of other holes in the roof that we need to drill as well. Um, finish plumbing in the back boiler and uh, and the chlorifier. Like, part of the reason we couldn't get the stove in in time before it got too cold is because it took us so long to work on the central heating. Yeah. And because we've got a back boiler, we can't use the stove until we've actually got it all plumbed in. Otherwise, we'd wreck the back boiler. Long, uh, complicated, complicated, complicated. <laughs> we do still have some big stuff to get out of the way. And it's not going to be easy. And we are not setting any targets or making any amazing declarations here about when we're going to be in because we've been burned by that before. But I think we're going to make a lot of progress um, in March and April. And that's kind of how we're tackling this, really. You know, we're, we're, we're good. It, it's going to be done when it's done, really. And we are going to do as much as we can to make that as soon as possible. But until then, we're gonna kind of play it by ear. And until then, we're kind of gonna be playing it by ear on this channel as well, um, essentially. I mean, I mean, we just kind of wanted to take the opportunity to say, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. And we're sorry we're not, we haven't been around for the last six months and we're kind of going to be a sporadic presence for a while, but yes. we need but, to, you know. You know. We're planning to, when we have more time. Yes, when our time is not eaten when we're by not, the boat. When we're not building a boat, yeah. <laughs> we will have more time for YouTube. <laughs> but we're going to have a go at doing occasional updates, but they, they yeah, will... We'll still, be, we'll still film clips of the yes. process. Yes, then... um, but, but yeah, it, it's, it's going to be sporadic. So if you can bear with us, that will be lovely. But yes, hope uh, hope this has been a relatively useful update and we'll be back soonish uh, with more details and thanks very much for watching and uh, 
Until then, look after yourselves and uh, see you again soon. Bye bye!